RPGs have left an enormous impact on the video game industry. Previously a niche genre, nowadays one of the most popular. Today I'd like to show you one of the 10 most influential titles that gave shape to what we nowadays know as JRPGs. So let's begin! Number 10. Secret of Mana It's safe to say that a lot of the early action RPGs were influenced by popular adventure game The Legend of Zelda. By implementing strong RPG elements in them they established the genre. Alongside other popular titles like the Mana series for example, which was basically created precisely to compete against Zelda. So technically speaking, these number 10 spots should actually belong to either Zelda or Mana, but since I personally don't consider the Zelda games as RPGs, Mana should be then. Adventures of Mana, localized in 1991 as Final Fantasy Adventure, was, however, too much like The Legend of Zelda. Two years later, Secret of Mana was released on the Super Nintendo and the formula was way different this time. You had a group of three characters in an adventure to save a truly magical world depending on mana to function. Controls weren't any more locked in four directions, but rather implemented in a free combat with restrictions. Characters had to wait for a bar to fill to make their attacks more efficient. Secret of Mana also included a multiplayer feature for up to three players controlling each character. It may sound like nothing special, but back then it made a huge impact on the industry, establishing itself as a pioneer in action RPGs with party members. Its influence started slowly though, but it will eventually show in the competition with Namco's Tales of Fantasia. While different and with combat in 2D, it followed the traditional style of turn-based RPGs instead, but with real-time battles with party members. So let's leave Tales of Fantasia, the first Tales ever made, as a huge honorable mention in this video. Number 9. Persona 3 Because this game is barely 15 years old, most people still have a hard time understanding its influence. But the truth is, this game popularized RPGs with life simulation. It wasn't the first game doing it though. I could cite a dozen RPGs that used similar formulas, most of them exclusive to Japan. Some random examples will be Sakura Wars on Sega Saturn or Princess Maker for computer systems, but those games were only in Japan. The Sims also played a role behind the influence of Persona 3, which obviously took elements from previous games in the series. Shin Megami Tensei If and Revelations Persona revolved around students in high school, so combining all the aforementioned influences and ideas led to the birth of Persona 3. And it was after the enormous commercial success of this game that other series slowly began adopting sim elements for their own releases. It wasn't until the massive success of Persona 4 though that romance and dating sim elements exploded into mainstream influence. So while games like Sakura Wars and Princess Maker popularized the idea in Japan, it was Persona 3 that made it popular worldwide. Number 8. Fire Emblem Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light was created by Shouzo Kaga and Intelligent Systems. Kaga took influence from Famicom Wars, a strategy simulator game, and First Queen, an action RPG with tons of characters which combined both action and real-time strategy. While those two games were influential in Japan, they were only to some extent and remained there forever. Fire Emblem and most of its subsequent titles also retained their Japanese exclusivity up until 2003 with the release of the Blazing Sword on the Game Boy Advance. By the time, the genre had already been popularized in the West by several other strategy RPGs. Back in 1990, when Fire Emblem was released, there was barely anything similar to compete against it. Crystal Warriors on the Game Gear was a decent attempt, but its severe lack of marketing completely obscured it. Fire Emblem will soon after influence two more very historically important juggernauts for the genre, Shining Force and Langreaser. Developers of those games have recognized their goal was to compete against Fire Emblem, offering a different perspective for tactical RPGs. The latter, however, remained as a true staple in the genre, deploying its influence across the world despite remaining exclusive to Japan for so long. Number 7. Final Fantasy IV 
I believe many would have picked Final Fantasy VI instead, which in my opinion is the better game, but back then Japan had three Final Fantasy games with barely any focus on their story and technically zero character development. Squaresoft saw no point in localizing 2 and 3, so instead they waited until the innovative Final Fantasy IV to release it overseas as 2. Despite the confusion, the game was highly welcomed and it made for an impactful release thanks to its new features. This was back in 1991, with barely any JRPGs with a strong focus on their stories and characters. This game not only made that work in favor of the fans, but also popularized the idea for future titles in the genre. Quickly other JRPGs compromised the same formula, showing more and more effort to plot-driven scripts. Later, Squaresoft would once again spearhead the industry with other titles like Final Fantasy V and VI, and let's not forget its PlayStation revolution with the legendary Final Fantasy VII. Overall, I think Final Fantasy has a bunch of titles that could easily be considered as the most influential, but the truth is Final Fantasy IV was the first one of its kind in the series to bring popular and commercial success to the West. Number 6. Is. Is is what many historians consider as the godfather of action RPGs. While many games were being influenced by The Legend of Zelda, released on February of 1986, Ys began taking form with influence by arcade games Highlight and Tower of Druaga. Both games often use a top-down view with only one hero following a short adventure with a very basic plot. Ys was different and had more story focus than those games. Nihon Falcom, however, took more elements from yet another action RPG they themselves had created before. Dragon Slayer. But because the game and most of its sequels were released only in Japan, their influence pretty much stayed over there. In fact, Is was initially released for Japanese computer systems only, that is, until its port to the Sega Master System in 1987. So while Dragon Slayer could be considered as the progenitor of the genre, it was Is that devised its popularity overseas. With several ports and remixes in subsequent consoles, Is managed to offer a different perspective on adventure games with RPG elements. However, outside of Japan, it was unable to truly compete against giants like Zelda, Mana, eventually being also overshadowed by the Tales series. But no one can deny its impact on the market back in the 80s, perhaps influencing the genre from the shadows. Number 5. Final Fantasy Tactics while Fire Emblem initially sold poorly in Japan, its influence and sequels helped its colossal position in the genre. Shining Force and Lang Reeser will go on to expand the influence on their own as well, especially Shining Force outside of Japan. But there was yet another strategy giant over there that also placed its symbol in the industry. Tactics Ogre. Developed mainly by genius Yasumi Matsuno, it was released in 1995. Two years after the release of Ogre Battle, a game that combined real-time strategy maps with AI turn-based battles. While the influence of Ogre Battle didn't reach much success worldwide, Tactics Ogre, however, gave a new shot for tactical RPGs in Japan. Nonetheless, it was released exclusively on the Super Famicom in North America, wouldn't get it until its port on the PS1 in 1998. Matsuno had already quit Quest Corporation back then, developers of the Ogre Saga, and joined the most powerful JRPG enterprise in the world, Squaresoft. Because he couldn't develop a sequel with the same name, Squaresoft offered the Final Fantasy staple to him, to create what will initially be a crossover, but Squaresoft was looking more into adopting Matsuno's creativity exclusively for Final Fantasy trends, and therefore, the most influential tactical RPG of all time was born. Final Fantasy Tactics. Number 4. Pokemon. Pokemon started back in 1996 as a media franchise that Nintendo wanted to establish. Its first video games for the Game Boy were developed by Game Freak, spearheaded by Satoshi Tajiri and Ken Sugimori. While there were already a bunch of video games released worldwide, especially in Japan of course, that focused on monster capturing and training, it was Pokemon that made their influence explode into colossal success, 
early 80s games had similar ideas, but with gameplay that was vastly different. Perhaps the most notable example will be the Megami Tensei series, with their first game Digital Devil Story released on computer systems and the Famicom. Yet another honorable mention in this video. This particular series wouldn't leave Japan until Revelations Persona in 1996, but Persona was not exactly about capturing monsters or demons in this case. Pokemon had been released that very same year in Japan to a colossal success, but the first versions, Red and Blue, wouldn't reach North America until 1998. However, Megami Tensei games were dark, mature, traditional-style RPGs and dungeon crawlers. Pokemon, however, was lighthearted, simple, basic, oriented for kids, and therefore much more easier to market. Revolving around the idea of capturing little creatures, training them to fight in duels or tournaments captivated millions of gamers across the world. It will go on to influence several RPGs, including media franchises like Digimon, merely established to compete in the same market. Number 3. Dark Souls From Software, a company established in 1986, wouldn't release their first video game until December of 1994. It was called Kingsfield, developed exclusively for the PlayStation. Because it was slow, technical in first person, and very, very difficult, it was never meant to compete against any of the popular action RPGs of their time. When its sequel was released overseas in 1996, action RPGs still retained their completely different standards. Barely anyone was making games like Kingsfield in Japan, and their influence clearly proceeded from a style more prominent from the West. The company continued to develop action RPGs, trying to focus more on Japanese and anime styles, most of them to commercial failure or obscurity, such as Evergrace and Lost Kingdoms. It wasn't until director Hidetaka Miyazaki created Demon's Souls for the PlayStation 3 in 2009 as a spiritual successor of Kingsfield, and that was when the company found substantial success. However, its demo got a negative reception overseas, which led Sony to refuse publishing the game outside Japan. Atlus and Namco took over for that and published it in North America and Europe, respectively. Little to no marketing was done, but the game's sequel, Dark Souls, was now fully supported by Namco worldwide. It had perfected the gameplay ideas from Demon's Souls and coveted its own unique style. To everyone's surprise, not only was Dark Souls a massive success worldwide, but it also made a huge impact in the industry. Tons of clones, ripoffs, and action games were highly influenced by its technical approach to difficulty, challenge, and battle mechanics. The franchise will become such an important staple that it established itself as its own genre, Souls-like. That's how hugely influential is Dark Souls and why it's so high in this list. Number 2. Chrono Trigger Chrono Trigger was the most ambitious project ever in the mid-90s. Creator of Final Fantasy, Hironobu Sakaguchi, worked together with his biggest competitor, Juji Hori, creator of Dragon Quest. So this dream team included character designer Akira Toriyama. How Chrono Trigger ended up being so influential is because it took simple ideas from many other JRPGs and introduced its own, a rich story with memorable characters traveling through time to fix a broken world. A battle system played in turns, combined with Final Fantasy's attack waiting bar, including multiple combination and magic attacks, a soundtrack that still resonates deeply within people's minds nowadays. Nothing was 100% innovative, but it just seemed like it had taken everything previous JRPGs had done right to create the epitome of them. That's how influential it turned out to be and how powerful was its impact on the industry. Sufficient to say it's the biggest influence on most independent RPGs out there, with thousands of love letters written for it. Number 1. Dragon Quest Actually, this spot should belong to what I like to call the Big Three, which includes the first Final Fantasy and the first Fantasy Star. However, those two highly influential RPGs were pretty much developed and released precisely to compete against the father of JRPGs, Dragon Quest, known as Dragon Warrior Overseas. 
these three games shared many similarities in gameplay mechanics, although executed very differently. Dragon Quest followed the simple adventure of a warrior that is tasked with saving the princess from an evil dragon. While still a short game, it did focus on storytelling, unlike other adventure games from its time. Its gameplay mechanics took a basic overworld, where players would encounter enemies across it. Fighting was done in turns from a first-person perspective, so it's also really important to say that Dragon Quest was actually influenced by Western staple RPGs such as Ultima and Wizardry, but in Japan there was truly nothing like it, and it even spawned three more games, all of them released on the NES in most major territories. I wanted to mention Final Fantasy and Fantasy Star because they were localized first, so they may have influenced the market overseas before Dragon Quest even made it in 1989. But don't forget Dragon Quest was there since 1986 in Japan and that probably those other two wouldn't exist had it not succeeded first. Every turn-based JRPG in existence comes from an influence of an influence of the influence of Dragon Quest. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. See you next time!